Hello everyone, I've been looking forward to filming this video for a long time now. I'm doing a full face of glossier makeup. Um, I had to use a postal service to get these items to me. And yeah, it's just a lot of effort to do that. So like in the past, I've just never really delved into the brand. So I'm so excited because today we're going to be testing it out for ourselves. Here's the box that all came in this pink bag. I feel like the glossier aesthetic is very like cool girl, <laughs> very like minimal natural beauty, um, glossy and glowy, which I vibe with. They sent me a priming moisturizer sample. Looks like this. I guess that's like the real packaging there. In the tube, we got a sticker. There's a sticker here that says, you look good, which is kind of cute. So you stick it on your mirror, share a selfie because you look good. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna try it out today and see what it's like. Did I accidentally buy two mascaras as well? I'm so clever. Either that or they accidentally sent me two mascaras instead of one of my other items. We've got the boy brow, which is one of the most exciting things, like one of the things I'm most excited to try. I feel like it was one of the first like volumizing brow mascaras to hit the scene. We have lipstick powder, blush, concealer, lid tint, lip gloss, I and lip plumping cream. I guess we'll try the sample out just as like a primer. It doesn't look like I got a primer. I thought I did but today's lighting is like the flip of what it's been normally lately. Today it's too dark. Usually it's way too sunny. I just cannot win. So this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Buildable Hydrating Cream. After cleansing, massage dollops of the cream into your face, add additional layers to prime skin. It's got a nice smell. It feels very, very soft and like buttery. And it feels like it kind of melts to like a really thin consistency. So I don't really have any plans. I might go out for lunch with Hamish. So yeah, I guess today's looks probably gonna end up being quite like minimal and natural. So if you like those kind of looks, you're gonna love this brand. Oh, I feel like it's making my eyes sting. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, be cautious around the eye area. I'm just gonna try building it up a little bit just to see if I can tell what they're talking about, about like making it buildable. I don't know. It feels amazing. Like super amazing. Just don't get it near your eyes and it looks beautiful. Like I love, love, love the finish of my skin. Like I would definitely buy this for like a daytime moisturizer just for like day to day or into makeup. But yeah, it does layer up and it doesn't like go all like flaky. You know, sometimes when you lay a moisturizer, it like flakes up and goes all weird like that just looks beautiful on the skin. I really like the smell of it. I don't know if it actually has a scent or if it's just like a natural scent. I don't I can't really pick it up but oh my god my eyes are stinging. Oh my gosh I'm gonna look high for the rest of this video. All right next up I'm going to try out this Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye and Lip Plumping Cream. It looks like this for the packaging. Pale pink, silver and white. I love the packaging. It looks really nice. After cleansing and moisturizing use the ring, fling ring, flinger <laughs> ring finger to gently press into the area around your eyes and onto your lips. Cruelty free, made in the USA. I think everything is cruelty free and made. Oh no, this one's made in Canada. Okay, I just lied. Made in France, made in Canada, USA. So anyways, but it all looks cruelty free to me. This packaging's really cute. It looks like a little mini like setting spray kind of can or like a dry shampoo can, except obviously it's not. Comes in a little pump bottle. It's really interesting. It's like aluminium. And I've got to try and pump it out. Oh, there we go. Definitely feels like an eye cream. It doesn't really feel like something you'd use on your lips, but people always say that you can use eye cream on your lips. I have done it in the past. It does soak in. Feels good, actually. I do already have a bit of eye cream on, but we'll just pop a bit more on. Why not? My skin looks beautiful, like so glowy. And my skin's finally starting to clear up after this little episode that I had. <laughs> Next up we have the Perfecting Skin Tint, which I'm very excited to try. Shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. This is the shade I got, which is G9 I believe. You get 30 ml in here. It looks tiny but there is a standard amount of product. You guys know I don't normally use my fingers to apply but I'll try it because it does say fingers. I think that's part of the whole brand thing isn't it? Like it's just like quick and easy and like user friendly, simple. How much do I need? I don't know. It smells like paint. So I'm just going to blend this in. It reminds me of our MAC face and body if you've ever tried that. Like it feels similar to me. 
from memory at least. I mean, I haven't used that in like 10 years, but <laughs> it's really pretty. It definitely just gives you a slight tint. It is not a, you know, medium coverage kind of product or anything, of course. It is a tint. It just kind of gives you a little bit of color and softly evens out your skin tone without looking like you're wearing a whole lot. I am going to use another layer over my cheeks and everything just to see how it looks. I probably should put some down my neck as well. Yeah, it has some kind of scent to it that's nostalgic to me. I don't know if it smells like face and body or like something else, but for some reason I really like the smell, even though it kind of smells like paint to me. I don't think my skin has ever felt this hydrated in my life. <laughs> like, it feels so, so smooth and hydrated. And you can see the glow is real. Like, wow. It's glass skin. But you can still see my breakouts. The redness has definitely reduced. Like, it reduced redness, but... It hasn't covered it. It's just like a really natural effect. I like it. Just depends what you like though. Like if you want coverage, then obviously you're not gonna like this. I think for like a no makeup look, it's beautiful. Or for people that just like their natural skin, that just want to kind of soften it a little bit. Or you know, if you're buying makeup for a daughter or son and you don't want them wearing anything too heavy, like if they're just starting out, perhaps like it would be bomb for that. Um, if you're a man that likes to wear makeup, I think it would be amazing as well because it's just like skincare almost. Like that's how I feel like it feels on the face. And it doesn't seem to accentuate my texture. It doesn't like cover, the, like, you know, disguise the texture. But it has not made the texture worse. It's just super glowy. I'd say it's almost more like skincare, if that makes sense. So far, it's alright. It's fine. People always say like this is caused from Revive Lash. I promise it's not. Literally I can like push down on it and the blood like stops flowing and it like goes away and then it just comes back again when the blood starts moving again. It's so weird. It's literally like a freaking dark purple vein right there. Like why? And there's no way to get rid of veins and stuff. Like you can't just laser around your eyes like that. So I just have to live with that. But good news is we do have concealer. So let's see how it covers up you know, the veins that I like to cover. Because, you know, if that area of my face looks even on my eyelids, my face makeup overall just looks more perfect. Even though, like, you can see redness and stuff on my cheeks. It's just that this is so severe that it makes everything look worse, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So this is called the Glossier Stretch Concealer. You get 4.8 gram of product. I love the packaging. It's a very cute, nice little jar, frosted. Um, I got the shade G11. Is that darker than the face product? I don't know. I don't really know. I can't even remember ordering this. Like, I ordered it ages ago. Okay, it looks good. The color looks perfect. So, with this one, how does it say? Use fingertip to press and blend into moisturized skin. It's buildable. Add more for extra coverage. Okay, you guys know, like... I prefer to use tools. Oh, there's another jet going over my house. Cool. Sure. This is the texture. It reminds me of, was it the Laura Mercier like cake concealer? Like how it's almost like oily-ish. So I'm just tapping it on. This is to tap and press. I do have a sponge here, wet and ready to go, just because I might try it as well with a sponge. Just in case you're like me and you prefer not to use your fingers. But I feel like this is their thing. Like, they love fingers for some reason. Um, yeah, the texture's almost oily. So, it doesn't give as much coverage as, like, a more creamy or powdery finish formula. But it looks more natural, less harsh. It kind of melts into the skin a bit better. Just, once again, depends what you want. If you do, like, a natural finish, or if you have extremely dry under eyes, you might like this. Which, sometimes my under eyes are, like, really dry. So... I could actually love this for like under the eyes, but maybe not so much on top of my eyelids. I feel like it's a bit too oily for up there. I'm just gonna do two layers under my eye just to see the before and after before I do the other side. Like it definitely improved the look, of course. Not the best concealer I've ever used, but once again, like the finish is different. The formula is different. It's so much creamier and more oily. So once again, probably depends what you want. I feel like I would like this on top of a color corrector. Because you know sometimes how color correctors, like the peach ones, can be a little bit drying almost. Or like heavy. And then if you put this on top, I feel like it would look really good. So I will definitely try that. On the other side, let me try it on a little sponge. Just out of interest. I don't know how to go because of the formula. But it seems to work. 
except it kind of like soaks up quite a lot of product because it's like real oily like the formula and it like doesn't make the finish as shiny do you see what I mean like it kind of takes away the like the oil is kind of like soaking up or something I don't know I'm saying oil but I don't really know if it's oil do you know what I mean? I haven't checked the ingredients, so I don't know if it actually is an oily based concealer. I'm just saying it how it looks and feels. Okay, it's got ingredients that I don't know what they are. And beeswax is quite high up. So yeah, I think it is quite oily. It's got avocado oil, jojoba. Um, yeah, it sounds like more oily based. So that's probably why the finger is a little bit better. Um, because otherwise your tool just kind of soaks up the oil and doesn't apply as much. We'll try again up here. Can't tell if I prefer the like sponge side still though, just because it doesn't look as shiny. To be fair as well, we have layered this on top of eye cream as well, which will be making it look shiny too. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I do like it a bit though. I think if I was having a less of a like dark circle day, it just like, I don't know, it looks nice. I think like right now, like that looks good. I'm just gonna attempt to pop a little bit over the top of the breakouts. I don't really think it's the right color for this. And like a little just around the nose. It looks nice, eh? Now before I go in with powder, I should probably use the cloud paint stuff. So this is their cloud paint. You get 10 mil and for best results, apply with fingertips, gently squeeze a tiny dot onto finger and blend onto cheek. Add more if you wish. Um, it's basically a blush. I love the packaging. It's actually like so adorable. Like love that. I wonder if this is where this brand got their inspo, which is Pep. I don't know, it's like a K-beauty brand. I am Mimi, maybe is the actual brand, but <laughs> it looked like a dupe kind of. I don't know. I don't know if they got my order wrong or not. I'm gonna check my order. It's not like I can do anything about it now, because like especially since I've used a shipping forwarding service and all of that. But uh I just cannot imagine myself purchasing this particular shade like you know me I would have gone for like more of a nude or soft pink or peach this is like red like and why would I buy two mascaras like I don't know I need to check my receipt there was no receipt in the box but I mean we're just gonna have to go with it <laughs> so terrifying low-key I'm gonna start on the side of my face oh my god I've like made a critical error. Holy crap. Okay, so it says to use your fingers, but I'm gonna go straight in with my sponge. Cause I need to like soak up some of that because wow, I'm about to have a really bad day. Oh my God, it's just going everywhere. It's like glitter. Like it just keeps going and going. Okay, this color, like maybe if I had fake tan and stuff on, it would be so cute. But like, I actually feel sick looking at myself right now. I feel like, Someone from like the 20s. No, I'm gonna add more of this and just attempt to. Okay. Ah! I'm gonna like layer it because that's just so intense. I took the smallest dot. I mean, maybe not the smallest dot, but I thought it was like not gonna be that bad. Holy crap, that's. You know, okay, compared to a lot of the ones we've been trying lately, like this is paint, okay? It says cloud paint. It's paint. It's not just like easy to use, it is literal paint. So we cover it and we go back with our sponge. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Okay, I'm just not sure how I feel about this at this point. It's fine, everything is fine. Let me powder some areas that we want to mattify a little bit, maybe under the eyes a little bit, I don't know. I don't mind this super glowy look, but I know a lot of people don't like it, and I want to try out this product. So, this is the Wilder Weightless Finishing Powder. Cute packaging. Once again, I love their packaging and aesthetic. Dip brush into mesh, then gently tap the side of jar to remove excess powder. Sweep over the face to reduce shine and set to bleh, reduce shine and set makeup. So it kind of looks like is it the hourglass one that looks like this, or I can't remember. But I've seen them like this before. I have like no clean brushes right now, but I found a Tulip powder brush. Oh, this looks tinted. I got the shade G8 to G10. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm just going to tap this maybe around my T-zone. So like the sides of my nose where my pores are a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, it gives a bit of a tint. Around the mouth a little. 
I was gonna film a lip swatch video today, but right now I'm not in the mood because I just don't feel pretty. I mean, let's see how we feel at the end once I put on like mascara and stuff, but right now as it stands, I don't know. Like, I feel like a no makeup day. I liked the skincare and foundation um, and even the concealer, like I would continue to experiment with. But at this point, like I just feel like I'm wanting it to be something it's not. I'm gonna put the lid on, which I think will like push down into the, no, it didn't. Okay, do I have to shake it? I just needed a bit more product. By no means is this the best my skin has ever looked though. Nah, actually I don't know if I like powder. It looks kind of dull. Like I went from looking like glowy goddess to just dull. To darken this a bit because the sun's decided to make an entrance. Like I kind of just, I look like I've just not got makeup. Like yes, it is very, no makeup makeup, but I feel like I'd rather just chuck on like the primer from the beginning. And leave it at that like why am I going to all of this effort just to look dry and dusty right now I'm gonna use a little bit of setting spray just to like try to break that up a bit I feel pale did I not get bronzer and stuff like I swear I did or like I don't I swear I got more face products but don't know all right let's try this sky wash sheer matte lid tint in it the shade echo dab onto lid and blend with fingertip Oh my god, I dropped it. Okay, so it is this brown color, which that looks more like something I would buy. Okay, sheer matte. This does not look sheer to me right now. Why am I literally just like terrified of life right now? Like I feel like this is just getting worse, not better. Okay, it actually looks really pretty, but I'm gonna use a brush because this is just going all over the place. I like these kind of brushes. So this is the Round Eye Brush by So Beauty it's synthetic you can use it for concealer too but it just I don't know it fits well in the eye area okay it's pretty it is sheer once you blend it out so I was scared at first but yeah it's good I actually really like the look of that once again it's so natural it almost looks like a natural like shadowy eye like I'm so jealous of people that have just dark eyelids you know how like me I've got like red veiny eyelids and then some people have just like naturally like their eyelids are like naturally like this color and they always say how much they hate it and I'm like I love the way that looks like it looks so beautiful um so I wish I had dark eyes like this because mine are just purple you know oh now the lighting is just absolutely ruined like I'm just done with today <laughs> I'm so done now I want to try the boy brow which I'm very excited about better be the right color um brown brun I don't know cute packaging once again okay it's gonna be like a million shades too dark. It looks like it. And is the lighting just gonna be way too bright? <laughs> it looks like it. Literally, it was dark outside before, and now it's like a perfect clear sky. Like, what is this weather? Okay, the color's wearable. I thought it'd be way too dark, but it's alright. I like the formula. It reminds me of Gimme Brow, except even less clumpy. Like, I'm not getting any clumpy bits, although it is new. Like, who knows what will happen after it's been drying it out for a bit but I think that looks bomb so yeah I like this product as well this and the eye tint are cool the eye tint just like yeah it looks natural like natural grungy kind of vibe like I don't know like you haven't tried that hard <laughs> and it was nice and quick I think it did come in like a bunch of colors as well but I just thought that I'd just stick with the more natural thing because for me, I cannot wear like colors and stuff on my eyelids if my skin's not looking perfect. And I came into this knowing that I wasn't gonna come out with a high coverage, so yeah. All right, that is the boy brow. It's definitely not the best my brows have ever looked in my opinion, but I do like the product. I think I would prefer it if I use like my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze first and then like a thin layer of this on top just to tint and fill in gaps. Um, Cause right now those just look very like caterpillary. You know? All right, now I'll tell you why I got two mascaras. At least if I like it, I've got two, I guess. I don't even think it comes in like a color. So it looks like this, that's the one. The one looks promising. I like ones like this, like a plastic, like kind of stiff, tiny little spike effect. I'm interested to see what effect this gives the lashes. Ooh very soft and fluttery and fluffy looking you hear my dog growling in the background i'm so over it honestly it's 
So I'll do one coat and we'll just have a look. Ooh, the bottom lashes look ridiculously long. And here's a second coat up top. Reminds me of the new Maybelline mascara kind of, that sky high one or whatever. Like, just gives you really long and like separated lashes almost. Looks bomb. Look at that. I reckon that's, yeah, similar to the new Maybelline one everyone loves. Does anyone else think that? Anyone that's tried both of the mascaras, let me know if you agree or disagree. That's just like first impression. I think it's similar. I only got a little bit on my eye, so I'll let that dry and flick that off shortly. Thought I was filming, but I wasn't. It came off like instant. Um, like the little flaky flakes, so. Yeah, I like the mascara as well. I do find like you wanna do two layers quite quick because if you wait for it to dry in between, it sets and it's quite hard to like layer up because it's like so hard and stiff. Like once it's on, it's on. Um, so yeah, if you like to layer it, just like keep going, maybe do one eye at a time. All right. I mean, I look presentable, it's my favorite, but anyways, we have a sheer matte lipstick, which sounds really interesting to me. I'm kind of into sheer stuff at the moment. So this is in the shade Crush. It looks like this. Once again, like, don't know what came over me when I picked this color. Like, are the color swatches wrong on the website or something? I don't know, but let's just pop some on. Oh my God. I hate the smell. It smells like... Avon. Yeah, I hate the smell and the taste. It has like that kind of plastic taste. This is a solid no. Solid no from me. Last but not least, we have the limited edition lip gloss in gold door. I don't know. How do you pronounce this? Dore? You guys tell me. Please help me with my pronunciation. Look cute and it's gold on the inside. Cute little touch. And it is a gold lip gloss. I feel like I like this. If I can open it, I literally can't. Oh my god. I can't get into it. Oh, there we go. Ow, that actually hurt my finger. And I think I broke a nail. Yep, I broke a nail. Wow, okay. It's sticky. So sticky. Uh, I mean, not really. Don't. It's whatever. It is so whatever. Um, okay. I think we can all agree that my makeup today just looks whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I even look a bit orange, like, after putting on the powder. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. Like, final thoughts. I mean, I liked the boy brow, but it's not like my holy grail grail, but I'll keep using it. Like, I like it. I just don't know if it's, like the best of the best, you know what I mean? The mascara, I definitely like it. Once again, probably not a holy grail. There's definitely a mascaras I do like more, but it's still nice. The liquid eyeshadow, I do like it. I probably won't reach for it a whole lot because I do usually go for like, you know, different eyeshadow looks. Like, you know, if I was just slapping on some makeup quickly, would I put this on? Probably, but I'd probably put on powders on top of it as well. So it's not really essential. Um, I did actually, ironically, really like the Moisturizer Primer product, which is the product that I didn't buy. Like, it was a sample. So, of course, it's something that I can't just continue to use. I'd have to go buy it and reship it to me. Um, yeah, that was probably one of my favorites. I like the skin tint. I think I would use it again for like literal no makeup days, like when I'm not actually putting on makeup at all. Just putting this on if I just want to boost my skin and make it look really glowy. Powder, I thought I liked it at first, but now I feel dull um, and orange. The blush was obviously like half my fault because I obviously put on way too much and committed hard. It's like kind of hard to like deal with. Like it's easy to blend, but like it's just so intense. Like, I don't know, I just, I, it's not my favorite kind of product. I've been more enjoying, you know, like the Maybelline and Ciate vibe ones. Like maybe not the Ciate one so much because you have to build it up so much, but you know, just something a little bit more buildable rather than just like, hello, that's intense. I do think it would look beautiful on darker skin tones though in saying that, so don't write it off completely. I think I'm just way too pale for it right now. The lipstick was a solid no. It tastes bad and it smells bad. The lip gloss is just sticky and underwhelming. Like I thought it'd be really pretty and shimmery, but it's just like glossy. Um, it just kind of looks like you can't even see the gold shimmer. 
whatsoever. Like I'm looking really close and I can't see any. It's just, it just looks like a clear sticky lip gloss. So I'm like, uh. <sighs> man, it's been a while since I've like, you know, put up a video where it's a bit of a fail. I think I'll keep using this too, the eye and lip plumping cream. <sighs> Cause like, yeah, I don't know. It felt nice when I put it on. So I'll keep experimenting with it. But overall, like I feel like maybe I've got a very unpopular opinion right now that maybe this brand's a little bit overrated. I don't know. I've literally just heard people raving about this brand for so long. People begging me to try it for so long and I finally did it and I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like my expectations were like a lot higher, which is that my fault? Maybe. Please don't come at me. We're all about our own opinions. I think maybe people that are like naturally beautiful might like this <laughs> range. I mean, we're all naturally beautiful, but as in if you have perfect skin and nothing to cover and gorgeous natural lip colors and natural eyelashes and everything about you is just perfect like fair enough if you like this um if you're like me or a bit older or whatever and you have more problem areas that you would like to cover then perhaps not for you Although in saying that, you know, if you are like of a more mature skin type, you might actually like the tint because it's so hydrating feeling. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This is, I'm just vomiting words. I don't, I'm just, I don't really feel like my best right now, if that makes sense. Like I feel presentable to go out. Like it looks all right, but I don't know. Maybe they're like more this lip color is on my lips i'm like oh it's quite pretty but the taste and the smell is like off-putting and i don't like the applicator so yeah that's my opinion i'm sorry if i've crushed any of your hearts right now you know me i don't mean to like be negative or like try to like hate on stuff um it's just not for me i love you guys so much uh, let me know if you've tried this brand and what your honest thoughts are, even if they are like five star, 10 out of 10. If you live by these products, give us some tips below. Let us know your thoughts too, because, you know, my opinion's not the only opinion that matters. Bye.